Welp, Secretary Stasse, since the Maximum Mayor models are back in business and I'm feeling myself again, I think I'm finally ready to confront Co-Mayor Alexa. You aren't ready yet. Put this on to remind you to always be sexy and keep your head up. Wow, a Maxine Dupree necklace? I'm going to wear this with pride, Secretary Stasse. Nothing can bring me down. Nothing but me. I can bring your pathetic self down. Oh, uh, Co-Mayor Alexa, I, I was just about to find you. <clears throat> Listen, I've had enough. We've had enough of this torment. You go out and you destroy the Thunder Rosa Chase that Queen Diva Marie bought for me with her very own only residence money, probably selling feet pics and whatnot. That's inexcusable. And all you've done is try to torment me and the others, and I've had enough. It is time for payback. Payback? Ha! Huh. How can you do anything with that broke stack of dimes you call a neck? Oh, yeah, you, you're talking about my neck injury. About that, I, I totally forgot to tell you that I have been healed for weeks now. I wanted you to think I was weak. That way you put your guard down. Ha! Wait, so you've been living about your life in a neck brace for weeks just to trick me? Yep. <laughs> you know, now that now that we say this out loud, I uh, I think I might have punked myself, to be honest with you. What Mayor Orin is trying to say is that we are back. The Maximum Mayor Models is a team that you cannot break. Together we will put a stop to your madness and we aren't backing down. Weird. I don't remember ever saying you can talk. If y'all think you are high and mighty, why don't you challenge me for the LJV title? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, wrestle you for the title? Uh, see, the thing is, I gotta... Gotta get a doctor to clear me, you know, because the next thing, I, I, I don't know if I'm a, a, a ready, ready to wrestle. I accept. Today's figure review is of Jade Cargill, who just lost her title, which is fitting because I'll be taking your title from you. Keep dreaming, princess. I'm thinking around the time the new Liv Morgan comes, we can have our match. LJV title is on the line. When I win, I'll explain to you my plans for LJV moving forward. By the way, Mayor Aaron will be banned from ringside. Sounds like a good deal, bit. See you in the ring. Secretary Stasse, are you sure you want to take on Comair Alexa? See, I was totally going to volunteer, but uh, things. No need to explain. I have your back and I will face her solo. I will bring home the LJV championship and take one step closer to ending her madness. Welcome to Lumber Jillville. Women's Wrestling lives here. Now, before we get started, I just want to remind you to please hit subscribe to become an official resident of LJV and get a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, like today's very unique review. So not only is it unique because it's an AEW figure, those are very sparingly sent out nowadays and released, but it is actually a 1 of 3,000 exclusive. It is the AEW Shop exclusive. Miss Jade Cargill, and I did order two of these because this packaging is unique, it's beautiful, and it is a chase, I guess you could consider it, or rare, because it is limited to 3,000, but it looked so unique on its own that I really wanted to open it up and review it for y'all, and also give you a closer look at the packaging, so that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this figure, because it looks pretty awesome. Alright, so this packaging is very unique. Now, obviously, these online shop exclusives... Not only do they have the sticker on there that tells you it's a 1 of 3,000, but the packaging is unique to that superstar, which is pretty awesome. Now, putting it side by side with her unmatched figure, you can see that the theme they went with is kind of like an unrivaled type theme with the gold and the black. So that's obviously different. 
And if we're going to pull an unrivaled figure to show you, it looks pretty much the same, but there are some key differences here that make it unique. As you can see, the text on the side is in its own font. We also have little details of designs around the Unrivaled Collection logo there. Even the front of the box has this little design there. On the side, instead of AEW, it's got Jade, and it looks cool because it looks like she's printed on a, you know, we'll say $100 bill. Looks very cool. And on the regular line release, we just have a small image. And the back is pretty much the same, except what I like about it is the whole back is that superstar. You know, obviously there's no other figures in the line, so we really get to enjoy the artwork on the back there in the photo of Jade. I think that's cool how they do that on the exclusives. It's stunning. It would almost be cool to get the back signed along with the front if you get it signed. So yeah, the packaging is very unique. It's gorgeous packaging. And it's really cool and fitting to her because the theme they went with is kind of like a dollar bill type layout. So with that being said, I know the packaging isn't why y'all are going to watch this. So let's open it up. Now I am going to open it up off camera because it's a chase figure and I might make people uneasy with how I open AEW figures because it's, it's, it's ugly y'all. So I will be back with the figure out of the packaging. AEW shop exclusive 1 of 3000 Jade Cargill. This attire is from the April 22nd, 2022 episode of AEW Rampage, where Jade would successfully defend her TBS championship by defeating Marina Shafir in the main event. This brought her record to 30 and 0. So my first impressions are really good. I'm real excited to take a closer look at this figure because even though this is an AEW shop exclusive, this is a very different figure than what we've gotten before of Jade. And that says something because a lot of these AEW shop exclusives like Sheeta here, the packaging is beautiful and unique, but the figure's the exact same as what we've gotten before. The only difference is they added a t-shirt. And that's kind of the theme that they were doing with their um, shop exclusives. So it is nice that we get this new redone up, recolored Jade. It is a repaint. But what they did here was make a very unique Jade, and I'm pumped to have it in the collection. So let's take a closer look at this figure, and let's start off with the accessories. So obviously what stands out about this figure is it does come with the TBS title, y'all. That is awesome. The only other time that we've seen this released was at Amazon Exclusive 2-Pack with Britt Baker. And yeah, we're just going to cut to the chase here. It is attached to her with this little rubber band that we're going to cut. Whoop. Boop, maybe. All right, this is not going how I thought. Okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk about how big the title is. It, it's way too big. Now, it's almost like they used that TNT title as a base. And that TNT title is too big for even the men's figures. So, this size for a women's figure, it's, it's, it's way too big. It's ridiculously large. I believe it is the exact same size as what was released in the Amazon exclusive two pack. And actually, we're gonna grab it here and look. Yeah, it's the same size. And we will do a side-by-side -side comparison with all of Jade's figures so far. But yeah, so that's disappointing that this huge title is what they sent out with the figures. It's a head scratcher. It's like, why, why would they do that? It is ginormous. It looks crazy. But honestly, the Jade figure is so unique and the attire really pops that it kind of hides the title, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's nice to get the TBS title, but hopefully they make some changes in the future to make it a lot better as far as scale goes. So moving on to the face sculpt and face scan, this is the same scan and sculpt that we got on previous Jade figures, but in my opinion it works great, and in the past with AEW figures, a lot of times when they change up a sculpt or a scan, they actually do worse, so I'm okay with them reusing this because I think it looks excellent here. I love the little arrogant eyebrow, and what's really cool, and it's a detail that you really can't tell if you're looking at it MOC, but she has green eyeshadow. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. That eyeshadow matches the hair, and what's cool is that Amazon Exclusive has like a pinkish purple glittery eyeshadow, and then the unmatched figure, it's a little hard to tell what color it is. Like I said, we'll do a side-by-side -side a little later, but that's such a cool little detail that they gave her green eyeshadow. I think that's really cool, really pops, and it goes great with that hair. Speaking of the hair, this is the first jade we get with the green colored hair, and I think it looks cool. It's almost got like a metallic shine to it, but it's definitely... Definitely works really good, and it looks great in my opinion. 
Well, now I know it is just one solid color, and sometimes that bothers me with these women's figures because it's nice to see some different root colors or streaks, but here it works for Jade with that green. I think it looks very accurate, and it looks wonderful. So this is my favorite scan sculpt in hair of Jade so far because it is so unique and it looks great. Also, the teeth are very noticeable, and I say that because her unmatched figure, the teeth weren't painted very well. They were kind of hidden behind the lips, and the Amazon exclusive two-pack, they made an improvement and really made the teeth pop, and here it's kind of that same deal. So yeah, this face sculpt and face scan is superior. Love the green eyeshadow, love the green hair. All right, so moving on to the body sculpt in the attire, I'm going to start right off with that body sculpt, and I've said this before with the other figures that I've reviewed, but this body sculpt might be the best body sculpt out there for women's wrestling figures. What I mean by that is it is detailed and sculpted and molded after her. It's not reused parts just to get a figure out. I mean, this has a lot of very uniquely sculpted pieces here, and it looks spot on to Jade. I don't think they could have done a better job as far as the body sculpt goes, in my opinion. Now moving on to the attire, this attire is very unique, very different compared to her previous figures. We'll take a look next, do a little side-by-side -side of all her figures, but this is such a cool attire with a lot of little intricate details. Now it's kind of like a base white color, I'd say, on the attire. And what we have are those little designs and shapes. They're alternated between silver and like a metallic teal. Remember, I'm colorblind, so uh, bear with me. But the metallic teal and the silver looks great. And it's intricately painted all throughout and printed. Very nice. The bottom, same thing. We have that printed design. Looks great. The knee pads are a white base color with the gray, the green and the silver designs with the jade logo. And the boots are a silver with the jade logo on the side. And we have white soles here. So yeah, I think it's really cool because the other jade figures, as I'll show you next, they kind of had a base black color in the attire with a one solid color forming the design. And that really took away from the overall aesthetic of the attire. But here, it, it looks beautiful. It looks awesome. I love that we have that tealish, greenish color and silver with that white base. I, I love this attire. All right, so let's do a fun little comparison of all her figures. So on the far left, we have a first in the line figure with AEW Unmatched Series 4. In the middle, we have that Jade from the Amazon exclusive 2-pack with Dr. Britt Baker. And yes, it did come with the TBS title, but we are comparing the figures, so I'm just going to set that aside. And on the right, we obviously have that AEW Shop exclusive. Now, looking at these figures... They are so very different, honestly. And like I said before, the attire on that shop exclusive figure just pops, stands out, has a lot more character to it because those little intricate pieces that are painted are different colors, whereas the first one is like a dull gold. I wish it had a metallic gold on her first in line figure. And I thought this was an amazing figure. It was definitely in the top five for LJV figure of the year for last year. But I honestly think they made an improvement when they released it in the Amazon exclusive 2-pack because this pink has like a metallic shine to it. You know, same face, same hair, but it looks great. We do have the eyeshadow. It's like a pinkish purple, but I thought they improved it there. Now, the shop exclusive figure, I once again think they somehow improved Jade Cargill's figure. And I know it's kind of the same base figure, but like I said, this attire just looks so beautiful and it really pops and I love the green hair. So I think by far this is the best Jade Cargill figure that we have. And it still might be up on awshop.com at the time of this video, so definitely head on over there and get it. I think it's about 50 bucks on there, but it is totally worth it because this is by far the best Jade figure out there, and it's wonderful. Now, if you don't want to spend the money or you can't get a hold of that shop exclusive, I would get either of these because Jade, so far, every one of her figures has been an absolute knockout. So overall, I give the AEWshop.com exclusive number one of 3,000 Jade Cargill a perfect score of a 10 out of 10. This figure's awesome. I love this figure, and I think it's the best Jade figure we've gotten so far. Now, what's also cool about it is they went the extra mile on this exclusive, and they haven't really done that in the past. A lot of these shop exclusives are just re-released figures with a soft goods t-shirt and a unique box. But here, this whole new paint scheme really makes this figure pop and really makes it unique, and I love it for that. Now, I know the price is a little high being $50 on AEWshop.com, but in my opinion, it's worth it. And if you can afford it in your budget, I would suggest getting two, one that you can open up and display loose, and one that you can keep MOC. So yeah, I can't say enough good about this figure. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. And yeah, I hope today's video helped you decide whether you want it or not. 
Now that being said, thank you for stopping by Lumber Jillville. Women's Wrestling lives here. For a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews, make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Now stay tuned. Elite Series 103 Liv Morgan should be here very soon, and as soon as I get it, the review will be up in LJV. Thanks for watching, y'all, and have a great night.